Hello, Singaporeans. I believe most Singaporeans remember on 15 August 2024, a seven-year-old girl was waiting for her school bus at the car park outside her condo when another school bus hit her. The 67-year-old male driver was arrested on charges of careless driving causing death. There are no words to explain the ongoing brokenness of a parent grieving the death of their child. I pray that their hearts will be healed from this emotional pain. How can we reduce risk of such accident in Singapore? I think the best way to avoid an accident is to use proactive measures to prevent one in the first place. On preventing school bus accidents, I don't claim to be the expert. In here are my suggestions for accident prevention. I would love to hear your views too. Number one, safety menu. School bus operators can have a safety menu and make sure it's routinely reviewed and updated. Use an outside source to review the safety menu to make sure best practices are included. The menu should be detailed and encompass a wide range of topics. It should be a frequent reference for drivers. Number two, continuous training. This will include frequent safety meetings and review of current accidents, both in-house and the industry. Number three, understanding student behavior. Review and understand the new generations of children being transported and how to respond to their behaviors. Number four, qualifications. Experience makes the difference. Maybe a driver with less than five years of experience may require more supervision and training. Driver records should be reviewed annually and result in an acceptable scoring. Number five, school bus safety starts in the driver's seat. Before getting behind the wheel, every driver needs to make sure they are starting their day feeling well-rested and healthy. This means that drivers should plan for safety the night before, making sure that they are getting enough sleep, eating properly and avoiding alcohol and medication that could impair their sleep or cause them to be sluggish or drowsy the next days. Safe driving depends on staying alert and focused, and that begins with drivers practicing good self-care both on and off the job. Number six, get the big picture. In a bus, the big picture means knowing what's going on both inside and outside of the vehicle. Using inside mirrors to see who is standing or moving in the bus, as well as using outside mirrors to see any passengers who are running to catch the bus or who might not be immediately visible is important to everyone's safety. Number seven, keep your eyes moving. Situations change constantly and quickly, which is why drivers should keep their eyes moving to stay aware of what's going on inside and outside of the bus. Whether monitoring traffic, navigating construction, checking on passengers, or checking for pedestrians outside the bus, changing focus every two seconds promotes safety. This habit also helps drivers stay alert. Lastly, please remember safety behind the wheel should be top of the mind for every school bus driver. With more passengers in their vehicles and a greater number of challenges created by the size and nature of their vehicles, school bus drivers has, have a tremendous responsibility when it comes to safety driving. Again, I would love to hear your thoughts. I am Ben Poir from Red Dog United. Thank you.